In this section, we will continue looking into the new features that C-Sharp and .NET Core come with. This time, we will focus on interfaces, patterns, and expressions. We will begin the section by studying a difficult issue that arises when we want to extend interfaces, especially when set interfaces are implemented by several classes in our code. Take this interface, for example. We have an interface that can be used as a blueprint for creating classes that have to report errors. We have three types of actions that need logging, warnings, errors, and critical errors. They have the exact same signature, although that may change in the future. We can then go ahead and implement this interface in classes. Let's begin with a console reporter, for example. The console reporter just logs the errors to the console window without pushing them to a file, to a database, or querying an API. It changes the prompt's color according to the error type. So we may have a method that paints the text magenta before printing when there's a critical errors. We may then proceed to do the same with the color red and the error method and use yellow for warnings. A pretty straightforward implementation of a console reporter that implements the error reporter interface we created earlier. But sometimes the console is not enough and we need to store those logs to a file. For such a purpose, a file reporter is ideal. So in this class that also implements the error reporter interface, we go on and implement three methods. This time, the difference does not lie in the console color, but in the file that the error is logged on. The critical method logs to critical.log. The error method logs to the file called error.log. And the warning method logs to a file called warning.log. So far, so good. Our reporter interface seems to be integrating seamlessly with the rest of the code. But what if we need to extend it by adding one extra method? What if we need to add a trace method in the iReporter interface? The purpose of the method would be to just log something for debugging purposes. The console should be used every time. This means that both the console reporter and the file reporter classes that both implement this interface should have the same implementation for the trace method. Why should we repeat ourselves by copying and pasting the exact same implementation in both classes. In prior versions of C-Sharp, that's what we would have to do, but not anymore. We can now do this and have the interface provide a default implementation for the trace method. That does not mean the trace method cannot be overridden. It can by a class that implements this interface. But in this case, we probably won't ever need to override it and C-Sharp 8 gives us this fantastic opportunity to reduce the amount of code that we have to write. 